Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial. In this video we're going to be looking at a problem uh, and then trying to, or giving you a solution on how you can get around that. So the problem is going to be that we've got two sets of data. The first one we can see we've got the country, city and the units uh, and it might help to explain. We're talking about like volume of sales so units is so like the number of items that were sold and then total sales would be obviously what that the sale of those units generated in obviously monetary value. So obviously if something's worth a uh, simple one down here, uh, two units are sold and obviously each unit is worth £10, therefore obviously total sales is going to be £20. Um, so the scenario is we've got this table here and we can see the number of items that were sold, so units, but we want to see what the total sales were and we then also want to get the average sale. Um, so obviously what the average sale is, so the total sales divided by the units. The problem is that our sales data is in a separate sheet, in a separate tab. So we need to bring that into that, that first sheet so that we can obviously have the total sales, then do that division. The problem comes because we want to pull this information from sales data into the units sold, but we don't have a unique identifier um, in order to do our VLOOKUP. So a un unique identifier would be uh, a number or reference that would be unique to each uh, city or site. Uh, what would allow us to obviously do that comparison to find the values and then return it into that, that first sheet. So what we're going to have to do is create a custom key that allows us to initially create our own unique identifier so that we're able to reference um, that in our in, in our unit sold. So I'll step through it and hopefully the the situation will become more clear and hopefully then become more relatable to situations that you might have had before or you might find yourself in the future and then hopefully this will give you the solution for that. What we're first going to do is we want to pull sales data into the units sold. So we first need to enter our key on this sheet here. So I'm just going to enter um, a new column at the beginning of our data because we're going to be using the VLOOKUP uh, so it needs to be at the front. You can obviously put this key anywhere and then use another function like index match to do it but to keep it more uh, straightforward we're going to just be using the VLOOKUP function. So in order to create a key we need to uh, combine some unique characteristics of each of our sites uh, to form this unique key. For this example it's quite simple uh, there's only each city is only going to appear on here once and for each city you're going to have the country and that city name. So what we're going to do is combine these two fields together to give our uh, unique key. If you had other uh, fields in here or you had maybe like the multiple uh, city or uh, the city was in here twice because it's got two different uh, office addresses or whatever it may be, then this is where you then obviously need to include additional fields if you've got them available to allow you to create that unique identifier. Uh, obviously the one thing you can't do is obviously use the total sales uh, because if you use the total sales uh, it's not going to be something that we can compare in our other sheet and we'll get get to that in a second but ultimately we need to combine fields to create our key uh, from fields that are going to be present in both data sets is probably a better way to put it. All I'm going to do is do our equal sign and concatenate, concatenate the two together so do equals I'm going to select this, the value in column B I'm then going to do an ampersand uh, a quotation, an underscore, another quotation, an ampersand, and then the last piece of the key, the city, and hit enter. And you can see how that key looks. Uh, you don't really need to worry too much when putting two values together, but this is like a general practice I'd use, especially if you've got your longer keys. It really helps to obviously be able to, uh, to actually be able to look at that key and uh, distinguish what location it's referring to rather than just bunging everything together and you've just got a long string of words or letters even. Once we've done that, we can just copy that down, and you can see that everyone has now got a unique identifier. So if we were to look at, uh, say, France, we can see that we've got, obviously, France and all these different sites, and you can see we've got each one refers to its own unique location. So we could easily now do a VLOOKUP on France underscore Nancy, and then pull back this total sales of 414. When we then go to our unit sold, we don't need to worry about uh, entering a key here because what we're going to do is embed that key within our VLOOKUP. But first we'll enter the key. So we're going to do, uh, firstly we do equals, set the country, ampersand, uh, quotation, underscore, quotation, ampersand, and then select our city so we can see what our key looks like. So now that we've got our key, we just wrap around that the VLOOKUP. So we want to VLOOKUP open brackets and the lookup value is obviously this uh, this formula if you want to call it that or concatenation was put together of our key 
we'll do a, a comma just to go into our table array. So now we need to go into our sales data and make sure our key is the first uh, column within that data. And we'll just go over these four columns and we want to return the sales uh, total sales what's available in column four. So go comma four, comma, and I'm going to do a zero because we want to get an exact match for this. Close brackets and hit enter. And you can see that that value has pulled through for us because it was able to combine these together to find the United States Austin and then locate that within the key. If I now copy that down, you can see that for all of our uh, results, it's now found the value that co coincides with it. Great, so we've got no errors, so that's all worked perfectly fine for us. And this is where we've been able to use our key and obviously uh, get source our data. So this is kind of the main point of the video, really. If you don't have a unique identifier, you can construct your own unique identifier by combining um, distinguishing fields from each site uh, together into one string that allows you to look up based on that value. And then for the average sales, this is the really easy bit. All we now need to do is take do an equals and we'll take our total sales divided by our uh, unit sold, hit enter, and then we copy this down. And then all we can simply see here is obviously what was the uh, highest average sale. So we can see in, uh, where's a good example? Uh, let's look here, we've got in Charlotte, we can see, yes, great, they had um, obviously 300 pounds worth of sales, but that was just obviously a lot of sales, lots of small sales at five pounds, or you've got ones, or this one's done quite well as well, we've got total sales of 1600 here, or the alternative is you've got one here, they didn't have many sales, so you might, rather than somebody saying, oh, you've done, not done many sales, you've not done really good this month, well, actually, obviously, total sales are 250 pounds, so they were actually focused more on selling maybe the high ticket items rather than lots of small stuff. But that's by the by, and we're going into it too de in depth now. It's just an example to show you how you can put this together. And like I say, it's just showing you how you can construct your own unique identifier uh, when it's not present in your data. So hope that made sense, more importantly, and um, you've had either... It's now giving you a solution uh, to a problem you might currently have. Or if you come across this in the future, again, you've got something in your pocket you can now refer to uh, so you can solve that potential issue. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. Uh, we've got lots more videos coming out. We do at least once a week, but when we can, we'll try and get more than one out uh, each week as well. If you do have any questions, just drop us a comment below this video and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. And lastly, if you did enjoy the video, please do give it a like. Not only does it really help me out and shows me the content that you'd like to see more of and you find most useful, but of course, it's also going to help that YouTube algorithm to make sure that we can get out to uh, more people uh, and help them with these Excel problems. So once again, thank you very much for watching and we shall see you in the next video. Before you go, don't forget to check out the other videos on our channel. You'll see everything from other functions and formulas through to tips and tricks. We've also created some playlists so you can see these categorized together. So make sure you check those out uh, and get all those useful information. And obviously, as always, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification button.